Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unity RPG tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to ma be making it so our enemy can attack our player. So when the enemy is within range of our player we want to attack them every so many seconds. Now there's a bunch of different stuff we could do with this depending on what kind of attack our enemy has. Right now we're not going to be using any ranged attacks or AoE or anything like that. But we're just going to be using a basic physical attack. We can also go and calculate the different damage that our player is taking in the future. But for now we're just going to set up the basic attack that our enemy is going to be doing. So we've set up uh, kind of an attack system or received damage in the past and we're just going to be altering that slightly. So if we go up here we're just going to be adding some attack features to our enemy. So we're going to add attack damage min, atta attack damage max, which is going to handle pretty much a random range of attack. Now we could um, add some real stats in here such as strength and um, attack speed and different stuff like that and calculate it that way. But for right now we're just going to leave it kind of basic just for testing. But this is just going to be creating a random range um, between the min and max which we'll calculate down below. And then we, I guess we could also add in like crit so we can randomize the chance that the enemy might crit the, uh, the player depending on also the player's stats, um, if they have defense or anything like that. Or if it's spell or versus uh, physical damage. But that's stuff we can cover in the future. So we've also had attack cooldown time main which is going to handle the main attack cooldown time and then this one will actually subtract from so when this gets to zero we'll reset this to what this is um, so if you had just a base attack for every single enemy maybe there's always a cooldown time of two seconds then you wouldn't need all these extra stats but this is just so you can customize it for each enemy depending on if you want their attack to be faster or not so we'll scroll down here and let's see so for the follow target, um, we're just going to be adding the attack in here. Um, so de pretty much depending on the distance. So if we're uh, if it's greater than 30, then we just want to move towards the player. But if we get any lower than that, that means our player is close enough for us to attack them, and we want to start an attack. That was just testing code. And so what we're going to be doing is doing attack time attack cooldown time if it's greater than zero then we actually want to increase the amount so it's going to count up and it's going to count up until we actually um, or I mean yeah it's going to count down until it hits to zero and once it actually hits to zero the attack time will be set to the attack cooldown time main which is going to be the default time and then we're going to attack the target so when we attack the target we're just going to call this and we're just going to create another script. So before on our enemy we created this piece of code which was receiving damage and we're just going to be altering that slightly just for our player. So this will set up in the future for when we're working with different stats. So we could also send damage, it can be physical, it can be spells, it can also be um, we could also apply debuffs or anything like that. So if an enemy has a poison attack and they poison our player, it will. It, we can also send a message and add in a extra, uh, let's see here. So in the actual receive damage, we can add damage and then we could add something else like uh, a debuff effect. And in here we can apply the debuff effect to our, our user so it'll tick poison over time or whatever we want it to do. So yeah, that's pretty much all we need to set that up. I am going to change a few things after this, but we're just going to jump in and test this out real quick so I can show you guys. Let's see. All right. So we'll just scroll down and grab our clone of our enemy. And for this testing, you want to make sure that your player has some HP and that the stats are set down here for the cooldown time and the damage. So we'll be doing between two and five for now. And so we see that our enemy is locked on. 
And then once we get close enough, you can see that it's ticking down the cooldown time. So as long as we stay within, if we leave, then the cooldown time stays what it was at. And then when we get close enough, it'll start attacking again. So if we go and we select our player, uh, let's see, Core HP, you can see our Core HP is counting down every time they attack. So it's dealing random amounts of damage. So really quick, I just wanted to show you guys with what we've learned um, for implementing something like a critical strike or a double hit or something along those lines. So if we go back into our attack target, what we can do is we can use randoms like we've used before to randomize our chance of getting a critical strike or a double hit or something like that. Uh, whatever you want to implement, but we can just say this is for special attack. So in this case, we could do a crit, which we could double this by two if we want. Or we can actually calculate the number beforehand so we could create another random number here, calculate in the attack numbers here, take that and times whatever we get by two. So there's a couple ways to do that. And if you actually wanted this to be some kind of double hit attack, we can get rid of that and that. And we could copy this and just duplicate it like that. That way, both of these numbers are going to be random that we're sending to the target. So both attacks will be a random number. So in that case, uh, when we do something like combat text that pops up, we'll see two different numbers pop up at once. So this can also be applied for the player as well if you have a weapon or an ability that can do a double hit. So doing two, two uh, different forms of damage with one hit instead of just... Um, base damage or you could also make these crit as well if you wanted to you could roll some more randoms and make it so these individually can crit as well or you just make it one crit all into or you can just round it all into one crit if you wanted to but yeah that's a couple different ways to set that up with our attack system hopefully in the future we'll set this up to be a lot more advanced with actual stats we'll go in and grab a bunch of different ones I think we have no, we don't really have any setup on our player right now either. But yeah, we'll be implementing, well, we have a couple of like base attacks, but actual like strength and whatnot, we can add all that in. And yeah, so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time.